everyone, my name is Vince Coley. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. This is what my face looks like. Now you've seen it if you haven't before. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of showing you how to make something inside of Dreams, I'm actually going to be showing you how to set up MIDI 2 OSC, which is a really neat little piece of software that uh, Alex Evans from Media Molecule wrote that allows you to use a MIDI uh, instrument, like this keyboard, for example, I have one of these. Um, or if you had like a, a guitar that had some sort of MIDI output, um, I believe that would work as well. I don't know, I haven't used it uh, for a guitar, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. And uh, it's really simple. The only things you're gonna need are an, a MIDI instrument, obviously, and a computer. So uh, whether you're using Mac or Windows, doesn't really matter. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Um, or if you just Google MIDI to OC, this will be the first result. There's this uh, GitHub page here for the application itself. You don't have to worry about really any of this stuff, at least I don't think so, um, because everything's already built. So um, this is uh, the Windows one, the .exe, and I'm, I'm running Windows 10, and I know it works on here, and um, the Mac app is this one, the .app.zip. Um, I actually built this uh, on my laptop, um, and I think I was using Mojave or something. I'm not sure if you have issues with that, I can try building the new one um, and then I'll send it to uh, Claire maybe. Um, anyways, so what you want to do is you want to download one of these and uh, so you click here and you click download and it'll download the file, um, whichever you know operating system you're using. So uh, once you have it downloaded, you want to plug your MIDI device in and then you're going to open MIDI 2 OSC, which looks like this. Um, let me see, can I make this any bigger? You'll see you have a MIDI input device if uh, all you see is no device, then try closing this, plugging your MIDI device in, and make sure if there's like a driver or something that's installing, uh, make sure that it's recognized, and then reopen this, and you should see your MIDI uh, device here. So this is my MIDI device. The other thing you're going to need is the IP address of your PlayStation. To get the uh, IP address for your PlayStation, you want to go into your settings, and then under network, you go to view connection status and right here is where you'll see your IP address. Now don't worry if other people see this, this is not your um, <laughs> this is not your like public IP address, this is just internal so you don't really have to worry. And uh, if you find that um, your IP address on your PlayStation changes a lot, when you set up your internet connection then make sure that you use a static one, meaning like you type one in instead of clicking automatic. Anyways, so uh, you need that and then all you do is you type it in here and you should be good to go. Okay, so there are a couple settings here. Uh, one uh, in particular that I like to use, this uh, velocity sensitivity, I think by default is at 100%, which means that if I barely touch one of the keys, like we can barely hear that, but if I hit it harder, then it plays at full volume. So uh, sometimes uh, when I'm making stuff, I like to just have it all be the same volume because I'll play around with the volume itself in Dreams. Um, everything else, if you have a sustain pedal, you can plug that in. Um, you can also have the velocity affect the spiciness, meaning the actual spiciness inside of Dreams, which is really cool, you know, this uh, spiciness slider. Um, and let's see if we can get that to work, actually. If I have this, let's see. We can see the spiciness here. So if I barely touch it, the spiciness is pretty low. And if I press it harder, then it affects the spiciness. So that's pretty neat. Um, that's if you want to play something like that. Also, if you have uh, your MIDI instrument has a slider, uh, for example, I have this little like knob which goes left, right, up and down. And so if I press something and go left and right, it does pitch. But if I go up and down, then it affects the spiciness as we can see there on the little slider, which is cool. Um, so yeah, uh, once it's plugged in, you're good to go, and uh, everything should work. So then you can just uh, come into Dreams, and you can hold the imp with your controller if you want to move around to the different effect fields, but you don't have to press any of the face buttons. You can just use your MIDI instrument, which is nice. Um, so yeah. Now, uh, one thing I should note is that uh, if you're, this works on both wireless and uh, a wired connection. Um, however, I've noticed that the wired connection works the best. So both my PC and my PlayStation are plugged directly into my router, um, and there's very little to, to no lag, whereas if I used my laptop to do this instead, um, there's a little bit of uh, input delay sometimes, um, depending on how you know heavily traffic my network is at the moment. 
Aside from that, this thing works great. So you can play uh, stuff on your on your keyboard, and you don't have to worry about using all of the uh, arpeggiator tools or whatever. Um, I mean, you still can, obviously, if you want to, uh, but more specifically, I think it's better, uh, at least for me, to do things with the keyboard than to use the, the chord setting. Anyway, so um, if you have any questions on how to set this up, if you tried to get it to work and you can't, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll be happy to try and uh, address any of those problems. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I, you know, I hope this helps anybody who's trying to set this up. I hope uh, everyone's having a great day, evening, wherever you are. Staying safe, and I'll see you next time.